Hi there, this is Trace Taylor with uh, Battleground Media. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a very quick little, I don't know if this is really a tutorial, more of a how-to, on a Premiere CS6. I am finding, um, I find a lot of threads on people who don't know how to use the nudge clip, and because they changed it in CS6 from all the previous versions where you use the right and left arrows to nudge out your clip. When I first found this, I thought it was actually kind of stupid the way that they changed it because it's completely different from everything that we're used to in all the previous NLEs of Premiere and uh, Final Cut. And then once I got to using it, I thought, man, this is brilliant. This is how they need to be doing everything. And what I have here is this is a video of just some singers. It's a static camera, one camera. I just got it sitting in the center stage, as you can see from the picture here. And uh, there was multiple singers. So what I did is I ran one audio track the entire length of the show. And you can see here, I mean, I'm up at two hours and six minutes here. And um, that way it would be easier for me to align the separate clips of the separate singers because there was quite a few singers here, as you can see. So um, I did the other ones in Final Cut, and I really like Final Cut 10. It's really quirky right now because it's so different from what I'm used to. So I actually work much faster in Premiere in Final Cut 7, although Final Cut 7 I, is now a relic. Everything has just gotten so much better than Final Cut 7. It's not even worth using anymore. There are certain things about Final Cut 10 that I do like. I like how it constantly renders in the background. That is nice. And one big thing that I have found uh, for, you know, if you're comparing Final Cut to Premiere Pro, is Final Cut, when you're saving in an MOV file in H.264, for some reason, and I don't know the reason yet because I really haven't dug into it, the Final Cut file, as opposed to the Premiere file, codec's exactly the same, is literally 80% smaller file. I rendered out a... MOV H.264 out of Premiere Pro and it was 10 gigabytes. I rendered the same exact file for comparison out of Final Cut 10 and it was 1.5 gigabytes. So I'll have to dig into that later and see what the difference is because the files were exactly the same. Anyway, back to the nudge clip. No more using the right and left arrows in, in Premiere CS6. Uh, when I first used it, I thought it was stupid the way they've got it now, but now I absolutely love it. If you look at this clip, you can see here, this is my audio and my video. And they're out of sync right now, as you can tell. And if you kind of know where you need to go with it, it's really brilliant. If you have a keyboard that has a numerical keypad on it, it's really fast. And I found this to be so much faster than using the nudge clips because I can move it as many frames as I want. If you hit the plus button, you'll see right here on my playhead position, you'll see that'll change. And then you put in how many frames you want to move hit enter and now we're lined up and if I want to move it back you hit the minus key and you can move it back 10 frames um, we can go as many frames as we want with this and I think this is absolutely a brilliant system because um, once you kinda get the hang of doing it you can fly when you're aligning your audio and video it's just so much faster so this was just a real quick thing on how to nudge a clip in Premiere CS6 because it has been changed um, you can go to my website, www.battleground-media.com. I am going to be setting up a blog on there, and I'm going to be covering a myriad of different topics. A lot of it over video, lighting, you know, things like, you know, lighting. There's no really correct way to do lighting. I don't care what anybody says. Lighting is subjective, and that comes down to the filmmaker. Uh, but I'm going to be covering, you know, my opinions, kind of give you some different ideals of things. And uh, it should be pretty cool because I'm going to be using some uh, 3D animation and stuff with it instead of shooting live video. It's just easier for me to do it all right here at the computer, give you an idea how it works. So there will be a blog set up, and it's going to cover a bunch of different stuff. Uh, you can follow it at www.battleground-media.com. Uh, you can get there through my YouTube channel, which is TC Taylor. Uh, thanks a lot.